Hippies, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today I'm sharing another super simple formulation. So I'm calling this one a super simple oil to milk cleanser. Over the last year and a bit, I've shared several different super simple formulations. So if you are just getting started formulating, I highly recommend checking those out. I have linked to all of the other ones that I've done in the partner blog post, which is always linked in the description box below this video. And all of those super simple formulations have both blog posts and videos to you know really help you see what's going on. Out of all of these super simple formulations I have shared, I think this one is the simplest with just two ingredients. A cleansing oil is really just oil or oil soluble esters like C12 to 15 alkyl benzoate with just enough of an added oil soluble emulsifier to allow the oily bulk of the product to really rinse off the skin nicely. In the spirit of super simple, this super simple oil to milk cleanser is comprised of one inexpensive, easy to find carrier oil and one oil soluble emulsifier. I have selected fractionated coconut oil as our inexpensive oil but you could use a different inexpensive oil if you like. You could also create a blend of oils and esters if you like. There's really a lot of room to play here and I have shared more information on different things that you could try and how to adjust the formulation in the partner blog post linked in that description box below this video. I'm presenting two different versions of this formulation and each one uses a different emulsifier. So one uses PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil and one uses polysorbate 80. From the comments that I have read from my readers and viewers, those two seem to be really quite readily available around the world. And if you can't get one, you should be able to get the other. I've also provided guidelines on experimenting with a different emulsifier if you can't get either of those two in that partner blog post. So please make sure you read it. In the spirit of super simpleness, this formulation doesn't include any essential oils or antioxidants, but Again, there are details on that in the partner blog post. In this video, I'll be making the PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil version because it is like slightly more difficult. It, you, it needs like a wee little bit of heat and whereas the polysorbate 81 is totally cold processed. This is really genuinely super simple. It is the super simplest. <laughs> so uh, yeah, please make sure you're reading the partner blog post. I have linked to a lot of other great helpful resources and information on like substitutions and there's information on sort of different emulsifiers that you could try. Just yeah, very much worth the read, but let's get started. All right, so these are our two ingredients for this super simple oil to milk cleanser. So in this beaker, I already have one and a half grams of PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil. So this is what PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil looks like. This tub is from Voyager. So uh, as you can see, it is solid. So uh, this one needs to be melted. This version needs to be heated to just soften it up and get it to incorporate. I have also shared a variation on this formulation that uses polysorbate 80 instead. So this bottle's from Yellow Bee and this was a gift. And yeah, as you can see, it is liquid. If you want more information on this variation, make sure you check out the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. But the general gist of it is that you'll need a bit more of the polysorbate 80 and then you don't have to heat it because it's already liquid. So yeah, we have one and a half grams of PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil. And to that, we're going to add 48 and a half grams of fractionated coconut oil. And if you would like to make substitutions, use a different carrier oil, etc., there is lots of discussion about that in the partner blog post, which is linked in the description box below. So please make sure you click through and give that a read. So our next step is heating this through. So I'm just going to pop our wee beaker in a water bath. So this is a small saucepan that I've put about two centimeters or two thirds of an inch of water in the bottom of. And I'm going to go put this on the stove top over medium low heat. I just want the water to you know, warm up a bit and we'll be looking for that sort of hazy blob at the bottom of the beaker to just melt and then dissolve into nothingness and then we can pull the pan off the heat and continue. All right, so I think that took all of three minutes. Like this water is, it's pretty, pretty warm, but like I can still dip a finger in it and it's not, you know, really, really hot. You really don't need a lot of heat to get that hydrogenated castor oil to melt. Give it a bit of a stir here. Now, if you are going to add some heat sensitive ingredients, so in the blog post, I talk about adding ingredients like essential oils or antioxidants 
you would want to wait for this to cool before you uh, before you added those. Since we aren't doing that, and since this really isn't very warm at all, I'm just gonna package it right now. So for a product like a cleansing oil, you've got a few considerations when choosing a package to package it up in. Uh, you're gonna want it to be a bottle of some kind, and you're going to want whatever the cap or kind of dispensing top is, you're going to want it to help reduce you know, the chances of accidentally sloshing way too much product into your palm. Because this is quite a fluid product, it's pretty easy to uh, you know, slip with the bottle and, and have way too much in your hand. So here are a few different options and then I'll show you the thing that we're going to use today. So this here is just a plastic bottle with kind of a normal cap, but it's got an orifice reducer. So if we get up close and personal, you can see that you know, there is something that reduces the mouth of the bottle so that it is harder to dispense too much product. This is actually a yellow bee fragrance oil. It's their iced cran apple. This was a gift. I just, I didn't have any empty bottles of this type around. But yeah, some sort of a bottle with an orifice reducer can be a good choice. I tend to like the orifice reducer to, you know, be a little bit on the larger side. The essential oil dropper ones are uh, generally so small that it can get quite frustrating. But yeah, some sort of orifice reducer in a normal cap is a great combo. You can use a bottle that has one of these turret style caps. I purchased this from Voyager Soap and Candle. Um, so this works really, really well. And then because this is a squeezy bottle, you know, you can squeeze product out of the, the little turret. This is more of a disc style top, so it kind of flips up. I'm sure you've seen these before. They're really common for hand sanitizer. So they've also been really hard to find for the last while because of that. Um, but this works really well. This is a bottle. This one was a gift from Yellow Bee. It's got a treatment pump cap. So they've got these smaller pumpy tops rather than the sort of uh, larger pump tops that you might be more familiar with with uh, lotion. So this can be a really good option for cleansing oils. And something like this can also work really well. Um, so this is one of Yellow Bee's uh, bio glitters, which is gifted and on. I'm just doing a show and tell of the, the container that it comes in. Um, so when you wanna use the the product, you just take a pair of scissors and sort of snip it off along here wherever makes sense for you. And then you can dispense the product a little bit like a bottle of, of white glue. It reminds me of like childhood craft time. Um, and I think it's um, Desiem's Hylamide. They sell a, they're cleansing ester in a bottle with a top that's kind of like this. There's actually screws open and shut just like a glue bottle. And that, yeah, I think that's kind of a neat take as well. For this batch, I'm going to use this 50 milliliter airless pump bottle from Yellow Bee that has a treatment pump cap. Before we wrap up, we'll do a bit of a demonstration. So here on the back of my hand, I have three swatches of cream eyeshadow. So this is a formulation that I'm working on right now. And in recent tests, uh, these wear for over 14 and a half hours for me, which is a lot of hours. Uh, but yeah, they will melt right off with our cleansing oil. Kind of a colorful bit on the hand there. I added a little bit of water. It rinses right off really, really cleanly. And then I like to wipe my skin down with a damp microfiber cloth just to, to wrap everything up. And there you go. So we just made a super simple oil to milk cleanser or cleansing oil. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to read the full partner blog post. I've got the polystorbate 80 variation of this formulation there. And I also have information on how to customize this with you know, different esters or different essential oils, fragrances, just all kinds of all kinds of helpful information about you know creating your very own uh, cleansing oil. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.